name is Mitchell Aiden. I am a hardware engineer. Hey, my name is Asma Ahmed, and I am an engineer at Seagate Technology, as well as a PhD student at the University of Minnesota. When I was young, we had this computer that was like broken. We didn't have internet connection. Um, and that was because my mom wanted us to like read more at the house. So if we wanted to use the internet, we would have to like go to the nearby library, which was really close to our house. So we just used to walk there. So then I would just like start searching the computer, looking it up, like, I don't know, whatever I could find. I even learned how to, like, troubleshoot things. Um, and then by the time that I started off by seventh grade, whenever, like, my teacher would have an issue, like, I would know, especially in Windows, like, how to troubleshoot it. So my journey in engineering began freshman year at the University of Minnesota. I came in straight out of high school wanting to learn and explore different careers. And luckily I came across this organization called EWB, which stands for Engineers Without Borders. And when I joined this organization, I found that there were students just like me working on real world problems. So really after those discussions, I decided the summer after my freshman year that I needed to become an engineer. Um, and that's when I started talking to transfer counselors to get from the college that I was in to the College of Science and Engineering. Um, I started to talk to different departments within engineering. And because I came in with an open mind, I didn't pigeonhole myself to a specific department. I spoke to people in electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, civil engineering. I actually got admitted in civil engineering for a while and then I decided, hey, I, you know, I want to become a mechanical engineer. So towards the end of my bachelor's degree, I decided that I wanted to become a subject matter expert in this field, and that's when I went in and applied for the PhD program at the University of Minnesota, honing in on, on my initial inspiration, which was water and energy scarcity. I comment on it, they might start to avoid you because of it. Um, but you really have to continue to be who you are and embrace your individuality. And when people do give you the opportunity to talk a little bit about what you do or why you do it, or why I wear my hijab, or you know, why I do the things that I do, just be open-minded. Um, continue to do things that you do and be confident in your ability, confident in all the work that you do. Um, and yeah, just keep at it. I did research for the professor at the University of Minnesota Seas. Her name is Professor Franklin. Mm -hmm. And seeing a black woman who was managing her own lab, who was a doctor, a doctor in her field, was so amazing that seeing myself to electrical engineering was so much easier than before. I would say to, you know, be confident in your abilities and to use your diversity and all the things that you know as your fighting edge in technology because there are different ways where you can use the things that you've learned in different communities that you have access to and now innovate in, in engineering, innovate in technology. And so, you know, use, use that as your fighting edge. Um, I think one of the things I'm really proud of is when I go to middle schools or high schools and I just love seeing young black girls be like, wow, like you're an engineer. That is so cool. And they're asking me questions and it makes me so happy because I feel like if they can see that I did it, that they too can do it too.